Meanwhile, new concerns about the Clintons' ties to Russia. The Clinton Foundation was accepting donations from Russia's own Silicon Valley while the U.S. was attempting to reset relations with Russia during Clinton's time as Secretary of State. Here now is Peter Schweizer, author of Clinton Cash. Peter, great to see you again. So, part of Hillary's reset, let me just set this up, part of Hillary's reset, where she used that silly red button uh, with the Russian foreign minister, was creating this this thing called Skolkovo. Skolkovo was a Russian version of Silicon Valley just outside of Moscow. She encouraged U.S. companies to donate to Skolkovo. Uh, Cisco, for one, gave a billion dollars. Uh, but this is at the same time she was getting, the Clinton Foundation was getting money from Russians involved in Skolkovo, right? That's right. Uh, you know, this is sort of a, a replay of the Cold War. The idea was to reset relations with Russia. We're going to have economic and technological cooperation, and that's going to warm relations. So Hillary's role was to get U.S. corporations, basically 28 of them became senior partners, to invest in this Russian version of Silicon Valley. They would share technology, and it would warm relations. The problem is that, first of all, of the 28 companies that participated on the U.S. side, 17 of them were Clinton Foundation donors, and then the head of Skolkovo, a, a Russian oligarch donated to the Clinton Foundation, as well as some Russian participants. So you have this kind of crony layer to the relationship, not to mention the national security concerns. Well, let's talk about the national security, because if, if the Clinton Foundation stuff wasn't bad enough, it was also a question of what the Skolko, Skolkovo Foundation was doing. There was an FBI special agent who wrote a piece back in 2014, a couple of years ago, in the Boston Business Journal, saying, the Skolkovo Foundation may be a means for the Russian government to access our nation's sensitive or classified research development facilities and dual-use technologies with military and commercial applications. So U.S. companies at the behest of the State Department were actually contributing to Russian military intelligence. That's right. And it's not only the FBI that's saying that. The FBI sent a email to companies participating in this process warning them about this. The U.S. Army out of Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, where they study foreign militaries, uh, actually issued a report that they researched in 2012 saying that at Skolkovo, not only was there civilian research taking place, but there, were, there was military research on things like a hypersonic cruise missile oh, yeah, and yeah. other military applications. Well, well, Peter, one would assume that the Secretary of State would know about the concerns of the FBI uh, that we were essentially helping the Russians to, to break into our own security apparatus. Um, could there have been any connection, this is where you have to take a leap as, as a journalist, between uh, the money that the Clinton Foundation was getting and Hillary not acting on the concerns of the FBI and others? Yeah, that's right. I mean, here's what we know, David. We know, based on WikiLeaks State Department cables, that Secretary of State Clinton received a cable in 2009 warning about this dual technology problem, that, that issues related to Skokovo and investing in Russia would lead to those technologies ending up in the hands of the Russian military. So she knew about it in 2009, mm. and they continued with the program anyway. Wow. Incredible stuff. Peter Schweizer, Clinton Cash author. Thank you very much, Peter.